Robert Valdez, like Julius said, takes pride, works his tail off in that clubhouse, in that gym, likes going out there, going deep into ball games, giving the Astros at least six to get that quality start, if not seven, like he's done four times already this season. And there's the first ground ball today. Jeremy Pena diving stop, could not quite get enough on that throw. What a play just to keep it on the infield and give himself a chance to throw outs later. Ground ball to short. Fromber last year had 25 double plays turned behind him and has his fifth of the season this year in his seventh start. That was Taylor made. Hanniger's got five hits and 20 at bats this season. Swing and a miss. He got him to chase that breaking ball. He strikes him out for the fifth time in his career, all on curveballs. Yeah, 26 year old right hander. The numbers aren't terrible when you look at it in the periphery, but one in five, that's not what you want out of your ace, but it's a new month, maybe a new Logan Webb. On the ground towards short, Estrada will flip to second, VR to first, and got him. Hopefully, Jordan changes things here. Oh, he does. He doesn't strike out like the Giants did to end the inning with Mitch Hanniger. In fact, wow. Jordan has a base hit. That ball was in the air a long time. I just assumed somebody was going to get there, especially with that short wall in left field. But Hanniger never got there either, did Estrada, and Jordan has himself a blue pit. Here's Jose Abreu. Abreu's had a three for 18 homestand. He's down in the count here, 0 and 2. And ropes one past Estrada into left center field. Jordan thought about going first to third, but he puts on the brakes. Third hit of the inning for the Astros against Logan Webb. Webb now facing Kyle Tucker. Not a lot of at bats in this Astros lineup against Webb. Tucker pulls it hard, but right to first. Wade will take it to the bag for out number three. Modest numbers so far for Michael, and a tough assignment today in there against the lefty. Swing and a miss, got him on the cutter away, and it's a 1 2 3 second inning for Fromper. Jeremy Pena will lead things off here in the bottom of the second inning. It'll be Pena. Swing and a miss at an off speed pitch inside, and Pena's retired on strikes. First punch out for Webb, and there's one away. Jake is making his 17th consecutive start in center field. That's off the end of the bat. It's going to stay fair. And through the legs of Lamont Wade Jr. And Myers is going to end up on second base. That ball had a little English, but Jake Myers reaches second on a ball that went through the legs of Lamont Wade Jr. TK, tell me you didn't have a flashback to 1986 <laughs> at Shea Stadium right there. That was unbelievable. That's off the plate. Maldi flips the bat away, and he'll draw a walk. I'll put two runners on for the top of the order, Mauricio Dubon. He's been tough to put away. Not on that pitch. The slider struck him out for out number three. 30 pitch inning, but no runs. David VR against Valdez. Fromber strikes out VR. That's four strikeouts for Valdez of the first seven batters. Sometimes you wonder if you don't see many lefties, one stands in that batter's box, it can be a little disconcerting. Fromber. Looks a little bit hesitantly as he watches that pitch get called a strike. Fromber, as cool as ever, has five strikeouts. Mitch struck out on a curveball his first time up. Swing and a miss. Got him on a changeup. And there's one away. I, I kind of like this matchup for the Giants in that J.D. likes to use the whole field. Oh, if Fromber fielded it cleanly, he might have had two. He still might wow. have two. What, what a play. recovery. Look at Fromber all smiles you coming off the him. mound. He knocked that thing down and he recovered so quickly he still was able to get two. Pena struck out on a changeup his first time up. Got him. The low strike with the slider. Myers to center. That's the big part of the yard. He hit it pretty well. But Slater with room. A nine pitch inning for Logan Webb. This game with two ground ball pitchers has been scoreless through four and a half. Another one chopped up the middle. Played there by VR, and his throw is low. David Hensley is going to reach on what probably will be an error on the Giants. Lamont Wade Jr. couldn't pick the throw from VR. Maldonado is a timer violation victim as the count will start 0-1 on Maldi as he was not engaged with the pitcher at the eight-second mark. And called third strike. Maldonado sees two pitches in that at bat and strikes out after the timer violation. Dubon, an infield hit and a strikeout facing his former teammate Brandon Webb. Hensley runs again. Dubon hits one toward right center field. Slater will make the catch, and that's going to turn into, I think, a double play. Yes, it will. 
excellent play by Slater in center field. Bart's 0 for 1. Giants still looking for a runner at second base in this game. Joey hits one out into right center field, and that's going to get down. Base hit. Joey Bart has himself a leadoff single. So now Third time they've been able to get a leadoff runner on. Yeah, Wade goes to butt. Valdez, who's a good fielding pitcher, will take the out at first. So Wade gives himself up, moves Bart into scoring position, and the Giants have a runner at second for the first time. And with Slater and Estrada coming up, I, I don't think that's a bad play. 3 2 Slater into right field. That's a base hit. Bart will come to third and he gets the go sign. Tucker's got the good arm. Throw is late. Bart scores and Austin slides into second. It's an RBI double. The Giants have scored first. It's 1 0. Giants could think about trying to force some action here. And a ground ball hard hit past the dive of Pena. Hanniger gets the hit. Slater's in. Estrada to third. He'll stop there. It's 2 0. Well, Mitch Hanniger just solid enough contact to get it by the diving shortstop. There's action here. Bart got the single that started the rally last inning and scored the first run. He hammers that one to left. Alvarez turns. It's one hop into that notch up against the wall. Conforto around third. He'll score. Bart puts on the brakes at second. A booming double from Joey Bart. And it's 3 0 Giants. Joey Bart. Joe's trying for some late inning magic. That seems to be their M.O. They got two outs and Alex Bregman at the plate. It's been a tough stand for him as he drives one deep to left field. That ball is gone. His first home run at Minute Maid Park this year. Makes it a one-run game. A Breggy bomb to left. Breggy finally with some home cooking. Got a hanging change up and wrecked it into the Crawford boxes. That will be the last pitch Logan Webb throws today. 0 for 3 afternoon for Wilmer Flores. He hammers that one to left. It is gone. Just up over the wall. A huge extra run for the Giants. Take advantage of those Crawford boxes. 4 to 2. Wilmer big insurance at a big time. Right there get a run back. And that's got to feel good for Wilmer. The young right hander Camilo Doval. He's in to clo close this one out like he did last night. On the ground to third Davis throws all the way across and he got him and the ball game is over.